Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to be using and installing Hashcat for Mac OS X. <laughs> So Hashcat is a tool for basically dehashing or decrypting uh, hashed strings uh, that you've gathered from some sort of information. So an example here that we're going to use is I've uh, gone and done a man in the middle attack on someone's uh, WhatsApp account and I've found a hashed string and I want to take that string and dehash it so I can potentially get that person's password. So. The first thing we need to do is to install Hashcat. Now to install Hashcat, we need to jump into terminal and I'll just expand this out so we can see everything. We need to type the following command. So it's this one here, Ruby, E, curl, etc. So I'll paste this in here. I've already installed it, so it's just going to tell me I've already installed it, but that's fine. Now, what this is actually in doing is it's installing Homebrew, and I want to use Homebrew because it's it's just easier to install apps like Hashcat. So now that that is done, we go brew install Hashcat, and it will find Hashcat, download it, and then try to install it. It's going to tell me that I've already got it and it's up to date though. So here we go. Hashcat is already installed and up to date. That's great. Now we want to use Hashcat to decrypt uh, a hash string. So this is my hashed string here, this AE2. And I've got this in a, a file called hash.txt as well as a word list, which normally you would have hundreds or, or millions or whatever different passwords listed in your word list. You can download word lists like RockU or whatever from GitHub. There's lots of word lists out there. So this hash is one that I've got from my intercepting man in the middle uh, attack. And I want to take that and use it to be decrypted so I can get into that person's password. So what I'm going to do is I know that that hash string is an MD5. I've done the research and I've, I've looked it up and I can find, okay, it's an MD5, but I can't decrypt it. So this is why I need to use Hashcat. So we're going to type in Hashcat slash M for attack mode zero, which is the MD5 attack string, followed by minus A zero, which is just gonna brute force it. Now, what I need to do here is load the Okay, so I need to load the hash first and then the word list second. So as we can see, I've done hashcat, I've got the hash and the word list that I'm going to use to decrypt it. Now it's going to go through and try to decrypt this and it's found here that it's been cracked. So hashcat cracked it, it was an MD5 and the password was testing. So if I go grab this string and I try it on, on like a decrypting website like this one, MD5 decrypt, this password would probably already be on here. But I'll, I'll click decrypt and it found that hash is called testing. And that's basically it. So yeah, that's essentially how you use Hashcat to uh, decrypt a hash string on Mac OS X. It's pretty basic. It's a little bit easier than Windows. With Windows, you have to uh, reference the folder when running Hashcat because it's a, a program inside a folder, whereas with Mac, it's, it's installed with Homebrew, which means it's just locally in the terminal. So you can just run it straight out of terminal, which is a little bit easier. But um, yeah, it depends on what sort of machine you've got. If you're watching this video, I guess you're probably on Mac OS X. The websites that I uh, was using in this video was uh, md5online.org. That was to uh, hash and, or encrypt and decrypt the, uh, the text to give me the MD5 strings so that I could use it as an example, as well as the Hashcat website and the Hashcat website wiki to find which different uh, hash values there are. So I just wanted to use MD5 because it's, it's easy on there, but there's a massive list of different passwords that you can use and different attack modes as well. 
So have a play around with it, use it in that order, and um, yeah, you should be able to crack some passwords pretty quick. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.